Paparazzi Independent Consultant, um, number 28606. And I am going to show you how I organize my jewelry after a live sale. So basically what I'm going to show you here is after I've gone live and I've shown all my jewelry and I put them in bags um, with numbers of, you know, after I've shown it on the video, I'm going to show you how I organize it on my computer. Because what I do is um, I do a live video and then all the pieces that I do not sell, I will put into an album on my VIP page on Facebook and then that way my shoppers can shop from the album as well. So not only am I getting um, the shoppers that watch my live video, but I'm also reaching the shoppers that don't watch those videos. Not everybody likes to watch a live video, so you want to make sure that you are catering to all different styles of shoppers. So <clears throat> this is what I do for my, uh, my live sales. Um, okay, so after I've, I've shown all my videos, all my jewelry is in little Ziploc bags. Um, and you'll see on a different video I have of how I do my live sales and how I organize them when I'm live. So you'll see what I mean there. But they all, if I show one piece, I will um, take, I, well, first of all, I bag everything up into a Ziploc bag. And I have one open that I will show the, the piece of jewelry. And then I can pull right from that particular um, Ziploc bag and fill orders as people are buying them on my live video. So then if I have any left, they'll still be in that Ziploc bag. I put the number in of the item that I show. And then that's what I'm bringing um, after the fact, after the video. So I have a box full of all the stuff that I've shown that's left over. So say I have one necklace, I sold, I had five of them, I sold two, I still have three left in the bag. Okay, so those three pieces I will put in my album, and this is how I do that. So first of all, in my downloads folder, every time I order from Paparazzi, I download my images into a folder on my computer, and you can see right here, um, they are dated by order. So I order pretty much every single day from Paparazzi. So you can see this is what I ordered on the 12th. That's what I ordered on the 13th and 14th and so on. Sometimes I order two times. <laughs> um, so anyway, um, if I were to pull up one of these, this is what I do. So I've downloaded the full files or the photos from paparazzi and I put them into this album and then I change I take the time to change the um, the file names just so that they don't look like um, how they download let me see if I, I don't even know if I have one I don't okay so you know what I'm gonna do let's do this I'm gonna go to paparazzi and I'm gonna download today's order and I'm just gonna show you how I do that might as well just show you how to do it all, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to sign into Paparazzi. And on the first page that you get to, your profile, you can see right here, this is what I ordered today, okay? But I go in, now you can hit view all and you can see just that order. Um, or you can go down here to complete order or complete order history, sorry. And you can see all of the orders that you place. Okay, you can see them all by day. So I'm just gonna go to today's because I have not downloaded, actually, I ordered twice today. Let's do the first one first. So you click on the link right here. I thought I did. <laughs> and um, at the bottom, it's going to have a little thing here for zip files or zip images. Now you can choose uh, just if you don't want your featured images, you don't have to have that. 
or additional ones or the complete look. You can uncheck those. I like to have all the files just in case I want them or need them or want to make a collage with them or something. So I just download it all. So first you zip the image. That is going to give you a zip file to download. Okay. Now you click on download images and you can see well, on my computer, you can see right down here in the taskbar here, it uh, tells me that this has downloaded. So I'm going to go to my downloads, which I'm already in. And this will be different on in, uh, everybody's computer. And mine is down here. So first thing I do is change the date of the file. So this was 6 2019. And then you right click and extract all. That's going to unzip that folder so that you can have access to your pictures. Um, select a destination. This automatically goes to the same folder or, or to a folder with that um, same name. So you click on extract. And then I get rid of my zip folder. I don't need that anymore because I have all the pictures in a different folder dated 620 because I changed that file name. And it's in the folder automatically um, after I've zipped it. Now I can see the photos. Okay, so here are here is what it looks like when you download from the back office. You don't have a nice, neat little file name. So what I do, and I and this takes a little time, but I like it for myself. I it keeps me more organized. Um, so I just take the time to do it. But what I do is I go to my order here in the back office. I highlight that. I can, I hit control C for copy, or you can right click and copy either one. And then I go over here. I click in the name. I'm going to control V to, to paste. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm just going to add the word necklace. And this does have extra space for some reason. I don't know why. Um, so here it looks nice and neat. I've added what the, the item is in case I want to look up the word necklace. If I want to see all necklaces, I could search up here for all necklaces. Um, but if I didn't have that word in the file or file name, it wouldn't show up. So I like to do that just because it's easy for me to search stuff. Um, so what I do is I control A and select the, all the text, control C to copy it, or you again, you can right click if you're a clicker, and then I'm going to go to the second photo, I'm going to do control V to paste it, I'm just going to do number two, because that's the second photo in that, for that, that particular item, and then I'm going to do the same thing, this is the earrings that come with it. Control V again because I'm going to paste it and I'm going to put, I put number four because my number three picture is my collage and I'll show you how to do that also. So that is how I um, change the names of my pictures and then I make a collage with this, okay? Because one of the reasons I make a collage is because everybody has access to these photos. And if you have 100,000 uh, paparazzi consultants posting this very same picture, Facebook is going to see it as spam. So you always want to create your own photos of some kind, some kind of collage, so that it's your own photo. That way, you, it, you're just playing it safe so that you don't get thrown in Facebook jail because you are being seen as spam by, by Facebook. So it's a, it's a good practice to create your own um, photo collages. I particularly use um, PicMonkey, PicMonkey.com. And I'm going to show you get rid of that because I just made a cover for my last video I did. Um, okay. Oh my goodness, my computer's being really slow. Come on. 
So I'm going to go to PickMonkey.com, and I'm going to create a collage. Now, first of all, I will do this for all of my photos. Rename them all in this file. I'm not going to take the time to do that now. Um, but that's what I would do first. I would go to Paparazzi, and I would do the same exact thing. Oops. Same exact thing. Just copy. Paste it. Change it to say bracelet. Copy that. Paste it. And there we go. So now I've got a couple of things already done. So you can see, once you get the hang of it, 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 it can go pretty quick doing this, um, uh, renaming your files. But in the end, your, your uh, file names will all look like that. So that will all look nice and neat. Okay, so I'm going to go to PicMonkey, create a collage. I do have a video on how to use PicMonkey, so I'm going to kind of blow through this pretty quick. Uh, just to get through the uh, part of the video that this is actually meant for. So if you're interested in learning how to do PicMonkey, uh, be sure to watch that video because it shows you how to how to use this a little more in-depth. So I'm going to get rid of these because I don't need those. Those are stock photos that uh, PicMonkey automatically gives you to use. So I'm going to add images. Go to my computer and find the pictures that I just renamed. So that was in my 620 order. And I'm just going to select those. I don't use the earring pictures, but you can use them if you want to. And I'll show you how you can do that. So what I do is I make a collage of the um, model picture and the white background picture. I'm going to resize this a little bit. Um, and the reason that I make my collages like this is because you want the customer to be able to see what, how it looks on, but you also want to show the detail of it. And, like, the reason I don't use the, the earring picture is because you can see the earrings are already in that photo, so I don't need it. But you can um, do something with that where... You could do, uh, let me go to the editor and I'll show you. You could actually add it as a, uh, a little graphic. So I could select this. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. And you could see I can maybe say, let's save it, kind of make it kind of cute and crooked. So there you go. So you could add that if you wanted to. Um, I don't find it necessary because this is here, but you can use those photos if you wanted to. Okay, so this is my collage. This is what I posted my VIP group. So I am done with, with that particular one. I'm going to export it to my computer and save it. Always does that for some reason. And then I go down here. You see how it says pick monkey image. I want it to be in this bunch with the rest of the same uh, photo. So I'll click on the first photo. And then I just add a three at the end. Click on save. And then when I go back to my folder, here is the model photo, the white background photo. Here's my collage that I just created and the earring photo. So this is how I organize my pictures from Paparazzi. I go in and I rename everything. I create a collage so that I have that anytime I want to post it. But I also have the individuals as well, just for my own records and in case I need to uh, show a closer up picture to somebody or whatever the case may be. So now that I have... Um, actually, let me make a couple more just so I have something to use, or, well, I guess it doesn't matter because I can use it from a different file. Never mind. Okay, so, now that I have all this done, um, I'm going to go back to a different one now that it's, let's pretend we're in the same one. <laughs> okay, 
So now you can see I've got all my photos. I've got the collages of every piece that I bought. Okay. And then what I do is I create a new folder in this folder. I copy all of the collage photos. And by do the way I'm doing this is I hold down the, sh the control button and then I click on the pictures that I want. And you can see where I'm selecting different ones. Okay, so I it will allows you to select whatever picture you want when you hold the control button down. So I select all of the collages. Okay, and then I'm going to copy all of those and I'm going to paste them into this empty folder. This is normally empty, but I've already done this part. So I've copied them all over here. And at this point, there's only one of everything in, in the folder. Okay, um, you see multiples and I'll show you why I do that. So the easy, oops, the easiest way that I have found, now some people don't um, use pictures the way I do. I like to use the photos because this helps me with my inventory. It helps keep me straight as to how many of each item I have. And it's it's visual, so it's easy for me. Um, I did try to use a an Excel spreadsheet and track how many I have, and it was just, it was so hard to keep up that this is just so much easier for me. So what I do is, um, uh, let's see. Okay, so I paste one of every collage in here, and then I go to my order. This was actually the 18th, so let's go back to the 18th real quick. So I click on the order for the 18th, and then what I do is I go through and I see, okay, Tropical Blend, it says I ordered four. So for me, to keep my stuff straight, I make four copies of that particular item. Okay, so I've got four of that item right there. Ice Bank, I've got four. So I make a copy of the one that I paid, I saved in here. Now I've got four. Okay, and I go through each and every one of these pieces and I make a copy. So you can see I have 21 of this blue one. Actually, I don't because I moved it already. <laughs> okay. So the name of the fame, I, I should have two in here. There we go. All right, so so now all these uh, these pieces, this is everything I bought in that order. You can see all the pieces in this folder is what I bought this day. And it's done by quantity. So I have two of these. Now I can look at a glance and say, oh, yep, I've got two of those available. If a customer says, hey, do you have the Grow Love yellow necklace? I say, oh, I've got one, two, three, four, five. Yep, I've got six of them because I have six photos, okay? So then what I do is after my live video, I will go through, let's see, this was my last live video. I will go through and um, I'll take the baggies that I've shown, of, of the jewelry I've shown, and I go through each of these folders and find what I showed on video. Now, I sometimes pull from several orders, so um, I don't get a box of jewelry and show all of that on one video. I buy every single day. So I show a lot of jewelry and I have tons of orders that come in. So I don't go by just one order and the, like I get this order in today and I'm going to show it on video. I don't do that. I go by, I got this, this, and this order this week and I've got a few pieces from this order. So um, those are what I show on video because this isn't enough in this order to show on video for me. Um, I usually show between 40 and 60 pieces. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm pulling from everywhere. 
So what I do is I go, I have another folder called live video and I create an empty folder. So like if I were to go live today, I'm going to date the 6-2019. So this is the video that I did today. Okay, so I've got a brand new empty folder. Then I go through everything that I've shown on video. I find the photos for it. So say um, on the 18th, it's from this order. Okay, I showed these two pieces. I pull them over to this empty folder. It takes it out of here now. So now I know I don't have them over here. I have them in my video. There we go. Um, let's say I showed the yellow heart necklace and bracelet. I'm going to pull all those over. I showed all of these in my video. Okay, so you can see where I'm going for, with this. I take them out of the, the folder here that shows how many I have. And now I know I've, I've shown them on video on this date. So they're no longer here, but they're over here. And I'm still able to keep track of how many I have because I don't have it in duplicate places. So I can again say, okay, yep, I've got this many of this particular bracelet if somebody asks how many I have. Um, so then maybe now I've also shown some stuff from this order. So I've got these and I've got, maybe I showed all of these also. So I'll pull these over into this folder also. I'm not going to do that now because I don't want to mix up my stuff. <laughs> but you get the idea. I take them out of this particular, these particular folders, my order folders, and I sh put a picture, of the pictures of everything I showed into one live video folder. Okay. So now it makes it really, really easy to load an album on my VIP page because they're all in one spot. Okay, I'm not having to go from this one to this one to this one to maybe this one. I'm I'm pulling them all from one and that's why I move them over here. I mean, if if it was really cut and dry and I showed everything from this spot, this order, then I wouldn't bother with this step. But I don't do that. I do it I pull from several places. Okay? So um now I've got everything in this folder, and it just makes it an easy way for me to load everything into onto Facebook from one spot. So to do that, you go to Facebook, you go to your VIP page. Okay, this is my VIP page right here. And you're going to go to Photos, and you're going to go to Albums. And you can see right here in all my albums, I have several live video albums that I've created. So you create an album right here. And then what I do is I go to my live video album, which is actually kind of buried. I've got a million files, so sorry about that. Let me find them. Um, live videos. All right, here's my live videos. So here is the folder I created with all the stuff that I've shown on that video. Okay, so now I just click one of everything on here. Again, hold down your control button and you can select individual photos. Now, obviously, I'm not going to load every one of these because you don't want duplicate photos in your album in your VIP page. You want just one of the purple. You want one of this one. You want one of this one. Okay, so I'm going to select one of each picture that I've shown. And here we go. Okay, so it uploads it to your face or into this album. No, we're not done. <clears throat> I date the, the album, today's date, and then live video. That way, my shoppers could go to my albums and they can see the date of the video um, that I just did. And they can shop from the latest videos 
that they haven't, that they don't, you know, they don't watch it. So they go through the albums and um, find the pieces that way. I put a quick description in here saying, you know, this is, these are the pieces left over from my video on June 20th. Um, and then for me, uh, in particular, I put in my description here, I copy, whoops, I copy the description on each photo, okay, because I want to make sure, I, I think it looks more professional having something in the description saying what it is, and there's no question. I, I have had people say, you know, is this a bracelet or is this a ring? Well, with the description, you you know, because they can read it. So I'll do that for each one. I'll put a description in each one of the items that I upload. And then I also go back and I do video item number. And then I go, I look at the number of the item I showed on video. So if I showed this as the very first piece, it would be item number one or maybe it's item number 40. I put the video item number on there. Um, you don't have to do that. I like to do it just because somebody might watch my replay and say, oh, sold number, you know, 98. Well, I can go in my album and I can look for number 98 and see what, what number it was because they don't always give me a screenshot. They sometimes will just say the number and I'm not gonna watch my video over again just to find out what number that was. So it makes it easy for me to just do quickly look at my album and say, okay, yep, that was item number 98. So that's the piece that they wanted. Um, so it's just something that helps me. Plus, it helps me um, to know that this, as I'm looking in my VIP page it and I see video item number whatever, it alerts me that I've shown this on video before. Um, or I've shown it on video, so I know that it's an item that's been shown before. So maybe down the road, um, after I've deleted those albums, you know, I, I know that it, it's it been shown and I can show it again at a later date. So basically, though, that's what I do. And then I will post this, which I'm not going to do now because obviously um, this is just a practice for you guys. <clears throat> but I'll show you my albums. So you can see this was this week. This was last week, the week before, week before that, which I really need to delete some of these. Um, but you can go into one of these videos, albums, and you can see everything that I showed on that live video. Okay. Now, when I upload my, my album... I'm going to give you a little trick that works really, really well. So, after I upload my album, I will go into the album and I will go over here. And you see where I've commented the quantity available? So, I can go in and say, oh, yep, this bracelet I have two of. I know it's not the same bracelet, but you get the idea. So, I go back into this live video folder since everything's still all in the same place by date I could say yep I've got two of these and I put you know two available I put this in a comment because instead of in the description because what this does is this will bump this item to your page so you're creating an album and people can go into the album and and shop and they will also see when you post the album on your page, but they see it as one post. Well, I also have people that don't shop albums. They shop stuff that shows up on the page itself. So, when I comment this, and I say how many I have, you can see four available, or three available. Every time I comment how many is available on here, it bumps it to my page the individual photo. So what that does is it allows me to hit the 
live video people, the people that shop my live video have already watched it, and they've shopped what they want to shop. Then I post the album, and for people that love to shop albums, they can go into the album and look through the pictures just like this, and be like, oh, I love that, I love that, I love that, and they can shop that way. But when I bump it by commenting, then I'm also getting, I'm also reaching the people that don't shop the albums, that like to shop it right on my page. So you're hitting all three ways of shopping. So you can see, I posted my video stuff from yesterday. So here's my album. I've also set it as an announcement. So it's under the announcements. So when you first come to my page, it's the first thing you see is the album that I just loaded. And it's really easy to shop right there. Okay, so set your album each week as an announcement. And everybody will see it instantly when they come on your page. But as you scroll down, okay, let me get past a few of these because this is stuff that's been bumped up. <laughs> um, Okay, so here's one that I showed. Um, you can see this was um, yesterday's because it's only dated eight hours ago. <clears throat> but you can see here's Shooting for the Stars, video item number 32. And I said in the comments, I have five available. Okay, and sold. And here's another one. Three available. Sold. Um, this one was... Now... I differentiate mine by the way it's posted. Okay, you can see this with video item number such and such tells me that was one I showed on video. This way tells me it's one that I just posted to my page. It's not in an album. It, I did not show this on live because it's different. So it helps me to keep track of which ones I posted where and when I posted it. Okay, so... You see this one I just posted to the page. I didn't show it on video. So if they hadn't sold, I could take those and put them on video. And I know that I haven't shown them already. So it kind of helps me keep keep myself straight. Um, okay, these are all posts. Okay, here's another one. Um, and you can see people are shopping from my June 6th album. So that was, you know, a couple weeks ago. People are still looking at those albums because they see them on the page. But you can see all these these items. Here's another one was bumped to the page and it's already sold out. There's another one. It's actually it's actually sold out too. I haven't put a little tag on it. There's another one that's been bought. So you can see people are shopping this way. They're buying because I've bumped them to the page and they're seeing them on the page. So it really, really helps to do that. Um, it's going to be it's going to show your pieces to everybody. Okay, so um, that's basically what I do. Um, again, just a real quick recap. So I download my photos from Paparazzi into individual folders on my computer. I save my files by date. Then I rename all my files so that I just can find them easier and it looks nicer and um, it's easier for me to copy paste. I mean, you don't want to copy. I don't certainly don't want to type it all out each time I post something, but you also don't want to copy this because that's just a big mess. Okay. So I save it a nice neat way. So when I do post them, copy paste is really easy. Okay. So then after that, I create my collage using Pick monkey. Okay, then I save the collages in that same folder right here. So, you, so now I've got the model picture, I've got the back white background picture, and I've got a collage picture, and even the earrings. Um, so now I've got a, a bunch of pictures for the same item. So then after that, I copy all of the collage. Oops, that's not collage. All of the collages that I made. I copy one photo or one of each of those into a folder. Okay, and then I go to Paparazzi again and look at my order, and then I make a copy 
of each of those pictures for the quantity that I purchased. So for this one, you can see, I scroll down, find that picture. Okay, I think I'm on the wrong, what date am I on? It's 18. Oh, it should be. Okay. Oh, there it is. <laughs> My guy, I'm on the wrong one. Um, so Crystal Cascades shows I, I bought two. You can see. Oh, yep, I bought two. So I'm going to save two photos. Okay. Sunday Shop, I bought three. So I saved three photos. Now, another reason that I do this is because I have customer folders. And I save the, the stuff that they buy in their folders. And I'll show you that here in a minute. So, all right, so I've saved all of that um, for the quantities that I have. And then I go through the picture, or the each individual item that I showed on that particular video that night. And I copy them over to a live video folder dated by the date of the video, just so that it's easy to upload onto Facebook when you do your photos, your album. Go to photos. Go to albums, you're going to create an album, and then you're just going to uh, copy one of everything and upload it. And then you're just going to save your file names on there, uh, your video item numbers if you want to do that. Like I said, you don't have to. And then you're going to upload your album, and it's going to come up and look just like that. Okay, then you're going to go through and put your quantities, bump it to the page so that your customers see it. All right, so then the other reason that I, this is how I keep track of my inventory. So when I go through my page, I can see, this is how I confirm my orders, okay? So um, let me get to the album stuff first. Okay, so here's one here. All right, so uh, this customer here bought Shooting for the Stars. So that was in yesterday's folder, or I mean yesterday's live video. So what I do is I create a new, I create a folder in this folder of each of my customers just to make it easy so I'm not going back and forth. So um, she bought Shooting for the Stars, okay? This is all... This is the folder that I created when I uploaded to Facebook. So um, this is just a different day. This is yesterday. So I'm going to look for shooting stars. Because this is what I added into my album. Okay, where is it? Or shoot for the stars. Okay, here it is. So I show in the album, or in my album, I said I had five available. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. So I have five photos, just like I said I have five of, right? So Barb bought one. I'm going to take, I'm going to click on that. I'm going to cut. So you can right click and cut. Or control V, or I mean control X, sorry. I'm going to cut that. I'm going to paste it into her folder. Okay, and then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to hit the love button. That is what I use to alert my customer that I've confirmed that piece now and it's theirs. Um, I used to do this. I'll show you because I, I just did this for one here. Um, I used to type in one sold to so-and-so and it would tag them. That's a great method to do until you sell volume like I do because it takes way too long. <laughs> I I was confirming orders hours and hours and hours long. So now, I mean, this is a process, but I, I keep photos for my customers because I have a lot of customers say, can you tell me what I bought this week? Can you send me pictures of what I bought this week? And I don't have time to go and dig it all out and take a snapshot of it. So I just use the, the stock photos. It's easier for me. Um, so here's another one. Mod Modest. She bought one. So again, I'm going to go down here and find this. See, now you can see how easy this is because again, this is video stuff that I just showed. It's all in one folder. 
Okay, so I'm not searching around my computer trying to find these things. Here it is. I'm going to control X to cut to cut it. And then I'm going to paste or control V, paste it into her folder. And then I'm going to hit the love button. And that tells her that she bought that. And I think that's all I have left to confirm because I did confirm everything else already. Um, so that's it. So then um, I do, this is just a temporary folder just because I don't want to have to move it back and forth or go back and forth for, for files, but I do have my VIP group folders with all of my customer folders in here, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and take Barb, I'm going to cut these out, and I'm going to paste them into her permanent folder, okay? So this is everything that she's buying for the week. Once I have invoiced for these pieces, I move them into the invoiced folder. These are ones I don't even use anymore. I got to get rid of them, but um, but I uh, move them into the invoiced folder. So now I know that those have been um, invoiced, and then they'd be waiting to be paid for. And then I just I get rid of all these once they're empty. It's just easier, like I said, to keep them in one rather than going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth <laughs> um, for each piece. So that is what I do for confirming my orders and saving the photos and um, uploading the videos or uploading the uh, pictures to, to Facebook. So I hope that this has helped you. I know that there's a lot to it, uh, the way that I do it. Not everybody does it this way. Not everybody organizes it the same way. Um, I know one person on my team that doesn't even keep photos. Um, she'll download the photos, but she does not keep the photos for her customers. I personally like to do it because, like I said, I do. Um, I feel like it's a customer service if somebody says, Hey, I forgot what I ordered this week. Can you tell me what I ordered? Well, I wouldn't know, except now I can go to their uh, folder and say, oh yeah, I can, let me look. Oh, look, this is what you bought. I can copy this and paste it right into a message for her and <clears throat> she can know exactly what she's got coming. So it makes it really, really easy for the customer as well to uh, keep track of what they have. But um, otherwise, that is it. So I keep files on my computer of everything that I bought keep files of everything that um, I show on video right there and I keep files for everything that everybody bought in the VIP group so it does like I said it's it's a little time consuming but it keeps me organized and, it, and it's what works for me so you just got to figure out what works for you that's not going to eat up all your time um, you know maybe you're not as much of a computer nerd as I am and you don't want to spend all this time on the computer you don't definitely don't have to um, you can find other ways to um, to keep organized that would be that'd be great if there's a way you can figure out how to do it a lot quicker <laughs> that would be wonderful too for you I just I just like it this way and works for me so find your way find the way that you like and Stick with it, but I hope that this has helped give you at least an idea of um, how to at least get your photos into folders from the back office and to be able to um, load them into your VIP group. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you found this helpful, uh, give me a thumbs up on, on here. Um, if you want more training videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Um, YouTube channel. I've got lots of other videos that might be helpful. Um, if you have any questions, all of my contact information is in the description of this video. So you can um, message me or contact me anytime and I'd be happy to help you. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching. I really, really appreciate it. All right. Have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye.